Hello everyone and welcome to Financial Accounting. In this video, we will analyze one business transaction using the Integrated Financial Statements Framework. We will look at the initial business capitalization. An Integrated Financial Statement Framework demonstrates the impact of transactions on the balance sheet, income statement, and the statement of cash flows and the corresponding relationship among these financial statements. If you would like to learn more about the basics of the Integrated Financial Statement Framework, I'm posting the link to the video here and in the description below. The accounting equation is the basis for the framework. It is expressed as follows. Assets equal liabilities plus stockholders' equity. An integrated financial statement framework is particularly helpful to those who have problems understanding debits and credits. I will show you more transactions in separate videos. I also plan to record videos to show you how to apply the rules of debit and credit to these transactions, journalize transactions, and prepare financial statements. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss new videos. In the first transaction, Emily opened a business bank account in the name of Emily Insurance Incorporated by depositing $100,000 in exchange for capital stock. Stock issued to owners or shareholders, such as Emily, is referred to as capital stock. The capital stock is the total share capital or the shares of ownership that a company has issued. It is a means of raising funds for the company to meet its various business goals. Let's see how this transaction affects the accounting equation. Note that stockholders' equity includes capital stock and retained earnings. We will look at retained earnings later when we go over dividends, revenues, and expenses. The first transaction increases both cash, which is an asset account, and common stock, which is a stockholders' equity account. Cash flows from financing activities include cash flows related to borrowing and stockholders' equity. Therefore, cash flows from financing activities will increase by $100,000 under the Statement of Cash Flows column. The Statement of Cash Flows reports the change in financial condition due to the changes in cash during period. The statement of cash flows is organized around the three business activities of financing, investing, and operating. Any changes in cash must be related to one or more of these activities. To learn more, watch my video called Business Activities. I'm posting the link here and in the description below. The total increase in cash and the end in cash at this point is $100,000. If you have any questions so far, write them down in the comments. I do my best to answer to all of them. Now, let's look at how this transaction affects the balance sheet. The balance sheet reports the financial condition of a company as of a point of time, for example, as of the end of the year. Under the balance sheet column, both cash, an asset account, and capital stock, a stockholder's equity account, will increase by $100,000. Now, let's look at the income statement. The income statement reports the change in financial condition due to the operations of the company for a certain period of time, such as a month, a quarter, or a year. The time period covered by the income statement may vary depending on the needs of stakeholders. Since no revenues or expenses are affected, the transaction does not change the income statement. Now, let's make sure the accounting equation for this transaction is in balance and that the ending cash on the statement of cash flows is equal to the ending cash on the balance sheet. In this transaction, $100,000 in assets equal $100,000 in stockholders' equity. Liability is not affected by this transaction. 
Since we only have one transaction so far, there are no other assets but cash in the ending balance of assets on the balance sheet. This will change when we record more transactions. The ending cash balance on the statement of cash flows is the same as the ending cash balance on the balance sheet. In the next video, we will look at how the borrowing of cash is recorded. That's all for today. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please subscribe, hit that like button and ring the notification bell so you are notified when we release more videos like this. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you all again in the next video.